while Iris is enjoying the silence in the empty university library and uh, enjoying the view to the Karlsplatz, uh, Uwe is, uh, of course, working and uh, he's here in the data visualization lab. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's showing you where to find CoWise uh, on our HLRS website. So uh, if you navigate to uh, www.hlrs.de slash CoWise, um, then you will come out here and there's a support and download link. If you click this, um, you come here and there's another CoWise download button, which will bring you to the actual download page. Uh, it's safe to take the latest build, which is always on top here. Just click on this and there you can download the Covise installer. Uh, this will take a minute. And it's uh, also available <coughs> for uh, Mac? Uh, no. No? Okay. <laughs> so Uwe is now showing you how to install Covise. So once you downloaded the installer, you can place it on the desktop or anywhere else on your computer, on your local computer. Uh, then it's important to start the installer as administrator. So do a right click and then uh, start as administrator. And this might take a little while uh, because it sends the software to Microsoft to approve it and Microsoft doesn't know much about uh, our software, so it'll complain that it is not safe to run this. Um, so you're prompted uh, to check whether you actually um, think this is uh, viable to install. Uh, please select Run, um, and uh, then the installer will start. <coughs> you might be prompted for an administrator account. Um, this is the case here. So you see the flashing warning sign. Um, and here you have to uh, type in your administrator password. And then uh, the setup window will open. Here it is safe to just click Next on all of the pages. Uh, the default values, you want to install everything. Um, and you might want icons on the desktop, I would recommend that. Um, and uh, yeah, also the installation uh, directory is, is well in the default settings. And this is it. <coughs> After installing Covise, it will prompt you to install prerequisites. Um, so the um, yellow uh, warning triangle will pop up from time to time and you have to approve that all the dependencies are uh, installed. Um, but after that, uh, Covise should start. So after 10 minutes of waiting, uh, we are finally s so far. <laughs> so the next window that pops up is the confirmation to install dependencies. Um, so here you see you need uh, several uh, Visual Studio runtime environments, um, MPI, which is the message passing library, and the Intel compiler runtime. Um, most of them should install. Uh, in some cases, um, it refuses to install, um, and then you have to install it manual, manually again. I'll show you that later on. So basically, all you have to do is press finish. And this will now go through the list that you've just seen and prompt you to install all of these dependencies uh, if, it, if they have not been installed before. Uh, on this computer, apparently, uh, most of these already are installed. And you've only see, seen the setup uh, flash up for a very short period of time. So basically, that's, that's it for this computer. Sorry. Uh, but you might you might need to uh, approve the installation of these runtimes. If uh, any of these runtime systems does not install, you find this in your Covise installation directory. So please navigate to C, Program Files, uh, Covise. And um, there you find a directory called zebu opt. 
and a library lib subdirectory and uh, there you find the bin subdirectory and here are all those runtime installers and you can double click them one by one to install uh, the appropriate runtime and it might show you a, an error message why it could not install um, and then you can solve those issues manually.